Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Ride and Review. I'm Cade, and I have a special guest here. This will be the founder and CEO of these products in front of us, which is Safe Sled. Brian, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about the product. My name is Brian Caldwell. I'm just pretty close here in Utah. I'm right down the street from uh, Young here in Layton. I've been working on this for a good three years now, just as like a, a passion uh, invention, and I just do it for fun. And, you know, I followed a lot of entrepreneurs over the time, and they all said, you figure out a problem and develop a solution. So this is where this came from. Brian, we got the safe sled here. Talk to me about when uh, when someone would use this, how it works. Give me all the deets. I think what most is uh, apparent when people are riding UTVs is they either wear out or break a ball joint. Maybe in serious occasions, they might you know, bend an A-arm, bend suspension, and either the wheel is not rolling, rolling and maybe tweak a little bit, but most of the time it's removed and can't be reattached just to roll in a straight direction. So. If you're fairly close to safety or camp or wherever you need to go, basically set the weight of the broken component on the sled and basically slide back to camp. So what are these sleds made out of, right? I know we're gonna have uh, people out there wondering like, is this really gonna be able to take the weight of my side by side? Definitely. Can you run us through maybe some of the specs on what these are made out of and what makes them you know, work in their application? Sure, so the material is a uh, heavy duty polyurethane. I had it tested and it's able to hold 11,000 pounds. I've just designed it in a way that it's gonna last as long as you kind of how you treat it and what terrain you're traveling on. Well, and in terms of that, talking about longevity, right? This is an emergency tool, right? This isn't something you're gonna use every day, but per se, how many uses could a customer get out of one of these? Like what, what's your best guess? I had a lady in Glamis hit me up a couple of weeks ago and told me that she actually had it last 20 miles, which really blew me away to be honest. Cause I was only expecting when I produced it to last five, six miles tops. Yeah. And 20 miles just blew my mind. What's your main reason, your main takeaway, why all our viewers listening right now uh, should buy a safe sled today? Well, the first uh, statement that I go by is, it's not if, it's when. And, you know, just on top of having this available on your side-by-side, -side, you're going to save money just on towing alone. I mean, I've, get, I've got stories left and right from either fifteen to $3,000. I mean, just that, that cost alone, this is going to save you that money. At two forty nine, I think this is your best bet. And you guys heard that right? These are two forty nine ninety nine. It seems like a no brainer that anybody ripping outside, going off trail, these seem like a small, simple solution that you should have in your car. It's like a first aid kit. It's like a fire extinguisher. Something that everyone should carry for the when, not the if. Correct? Yeah. Once again, Brian, thank you so much for coming on our show today. Thanks for having me. We appreciate having you and talking about Safe Sled. To all our viewers out there, if you like this video, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of what we're throwing at you. And as always, live fast, ride young, we're out.